This is where the theme song goes. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to another action figure review from Rob's Toy Attic. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hasbro's Transformers R.E.D. Optimus Prime. The R.E.D. is for Robot Enhanced Design. This is a line of non-transforming uh, robot Transformers. And uh, I'm okay with that because I, well... For the one Transformer I have on display, I keep it in robot mode as the vehicle mode is, well, it's not my preferred look. Um, so here we can see the figure in the packaging. Uh, the window in the front here shows the character himself, while the side window over here shows the accessories that come with the figure. On the back, you get a nice look of the figure with the different options for display and play. And right here on the side, you get this incredible art of Optimus Prime just blasting out the color there. I, I don't really understand why, but I like it. It's dynamic. It's got some action to it. For the most part, my collection is Marvel Legends. Um, I do have some other lines that I collect, but not extensively. And Transformers is one of those lines. Uh, I've had a few over the years, but really just, you know, Optimus Prime, Megatron. Uh, I thought, you know, for the price point of 20 bucks, uh, that it might be fun to pick up these figures. Uh, so I grabbed a couple of them, and uh, we're going to be taking a look at this Optimus Prime today. So uh, let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging and see what we have going on so i don't really know the best way to open this let's see the bottom well let's go ahead and get to it this will be the first time i've opened a figure while recording myself so that's this is a new experience usually i just do it off camera and then I'll play with the figure for a bit okay so it comes in two trays there's the figure itself and then on the side we get the accessories tray that's nice it's actually pretty nice for storing and then we get this book of warnings and okay we get like a schematic type deal for uh optimus prime and that continues on with the uh, accessories on the side here so let's go is he rubber band in and here is optimus prime out of his packaging uh and not knowing really much about this red line uh except for it being a non-transforming section scale line of transformers um i'm very pleasantly surprised by you know what's being offered here uh, pulling it out of its packaging i could feel that the the, the plastic has a a certain quality to it um it it feels it's a very nice figure to hold in your hand and to move around the joints move very smoothly um, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, so, and you know, not saying that Hasbro's other toys feel cheap or anything, just this one has a different feel to it. Uh, so, but, and then the, the likeness here, since it doesn't transform, they're able to do a lot with the sculpt. So I think, you know, the overall look is just incredible as well. So, you can see his head sculpt, very, you know, reminiscent of the cartoon, all this. You can see, it's like, I, I like to say you can see, like, the, the texture of the plastic, like, through out here. It's a very firm i don't know i don't know i'm gonna stop going over that because it seems like a really weird talking point i just can't it's just a very interesting figure to hold in the hands even this autobot signia right here sculpted in with the paint very clean on that a 
all the paint apps really pretty good on this guy which I mean you know there's no it's all just clean paints which it ought to be there's no no need for wash or anything like that if you want that distressed look to have that siege line but this is for the, the clean the clean clean Optimus Prime as far as articulation goes the head because the design can only go forward so far it goes up pretty pretty good amount I think get some good tilt and of course swivel so you get some nice attitude out of that I'm not sure it's just a looks like a dumbbell joint up there uh, the shoulders can go all the way up come down swivel the problem upper bicep is a little hindered by the tailpipe here but I'm sure if you force it there we go so no big deal because these tailpipes are uh, more flexible material than the rest of the figure single elbow goes up to 90 so that's fine these hands twist and swivel nothing at the nothing at the no ab crunch or anything it looks like they could easily have cut one in but there's a function up here in the chest which i'll get to and that's why there's no none of that swivel nice and free swivel actually these legs come out pretty good 45 you got a swivel up top and you got these double knees comes all the way up Ooh, look at that these ankles good movement on the ankles this bottom piece right here I thought it was gonna be like a hard plastic but it's a softer flexible piece so you can really get some movement out of these ankles which is great so you can get them those like you know real wide crouching Optimus Primey type positions you know whatever um, as far as accessories and the package it comes with a pair of put up your dukes a couple of raise the roofs a pointer finger a trigger hand and of course a gun for the trigger figure hand as you can see here it fits nicely which looks like this and he also comes with an axe to grind which is a orange translucent plastic and I think looks pretty good you also get this matrix of leadership very small um, this goes into the chest cavity of Optimus Prime. I the best way I found to open it was I pushed in on one side, which then by pushing in lifts up the other, and then I was able to actually get my fingernail in there and crank it open. And so wow. This thing okay so looks like there's no right or wrong to put it in here so kind of stick it in does it clip or anything yeah you just kind of stick it in there and it wedges in and closes back over and there there it lies and there it shall stay until the end of days the end of its days the end of time but you know it's a cool function that it opens up you can put the matrix in there so I'm glad we have that and you know it's a nice little nice little detail just wish that was a little bit easier can you get these hands up here so you can I guess you can oh these are probably these are gonna be to to, to hold the matrix maybe I don't know these hands seem useless I'm not on the camera anyway but yeah so it's pretty good all the while as I was changing out the hands I didn't realize I thought to myself it seems strange these pegs are you know pretty long as far as pegs go and so as I push them in you can hear a snap and I just assumed okay well it's in but 
Then I started looking at it closer and realized, like, it's still a bit out there. It's so ugly. And I didn't realize that there's a secondary pop as well. I mean, it does hinder the hand movement a little bit. Actually. Huh. Not that you really need all that, but it's good to know that if you want to, you can pull the hand out and it's still going to stay, you know, it's secure in the figure, so that's good. But I got to keep that bad boy right in there. Huh. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. First size comparison real quick. Here he is next to the only Optimus I have on display at the moment. It's the Power of the Primes, Optimus Prime from a few years back. This one transforms, is a bit larger, however the look of this one is mm, magnifique. Overall, I think Hasbro did a great job with this figure. The character design and the sculpt work, um, it just looks like Optimus Prime from the 1980s animated series and movie. Uh, the paint is crisp and clean where it is, although it is minimal, but that is the design of the character. And so it works uh, without it transforming. I know that could be an issue for some fans and collectors. For me, it's not as I do prefer the character in the robot mode over the vehicle mode. However, I would have liked to have seen this line of the RED figures come out at a larger scale. And I think Hasbro really missed an opportunity to do that. They already had a six inch scale with Siege going on. And, you know, introducing another one that doesn't transform is fine because it's a whole different line in itself, but it would have been nicer to see them at a larger scale to kind of commingle with their other lines and properties, G.I. Joe, Marvel Legends, Power Rangers, you know, so on and so forth, even Ghostbusters. But, you know, it still doesn't take away from what the figure is and what the figure can do because it is, it's a good figure. I will, though, say I have some gripes, which is that I wish it had more hand options for the left hand having the pointer and trigger hand on the right side and really no 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 grip hand on the left kind of limits what you can do i've used displayed hand here to hold the gun to use the pointer hand at the same time in conjunction to give a kind of like you know onward into battle you know look which is something that i would like to see uh you know in, in display options you know which it does work he holds it but you know it will fall out. But you can but you can get it to work. You know, you just gotta push it back into the the pit of the fingers. Squeeze it in there and then he'll he'll do an okay job. So that would really be my only gripe, is that, you know, I kinda wish it was a larger figure and that he had more hands. But what you get is good, though, and I think at the price point, it's well worth it, um, especially for you know an entirely new figure. So if you like what you're seeing here, leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Um, I'll be posting some more videos sooner than later, I imagine. Um, but, you know, don't hold me to it. So until next time, take it easy.